Hello, this is Conan Stoops, and welcome back to another Lumion Legacy HDC video. And in today's HDC video, we're going to be reviewing the first Lumion we got a leak on about Soulburst, and that is, of course, Stratosaur. Now, sadly, there's no Stratosaur Soulburst gift I can actually get without making it look horrible, so just stick to the older model. Anyways, Stratosaur on paper looks really, really great offensively. This Lumion has high potential on a lot of offensive teams, and if not prepared for, just like the original, Soulburst Stratosaur will be able to plow through many teams. Only now, it does have one turn damage potential and so much more attributes to talk about. So, with that out of the way, let's talk about how to use Encounter Stratosaur, Soulburst Edition. So the role that Soulburst Stratosaur plays can be answered with Stratosaur's base stats. Thanks to Jamie's stream, we got the Soulburst Stratosaur base stats, and just like the old Stratosaur, our melee defense and our melee attack are kind of not our strongest suits. However, we do have a decent HP stat of 95. This does put us on par with other bulky offensive Lumions, which is always pretty good, and you have a great energy stat of 100. This is pretty good for Stratosaur as this can let you fire off f 5 jet streams and 2 magnifies off pretty easily. And range defense wise, it's not the greatest but because of its HP stat, it does have the ability to withstand bulk even after the soul burst. And what's probably gonna shock you all is its range attack and speed stat. 119 speed is on par with the new roamer that just came out. The glacial ice thing and of course your favorite starter Zulong and its range attack stat of 135 this isn't as strong as Gargolem Ataxis but with personalities it's going to be hitting way harder than Gargolem attack and of course it does hit harder than most of the range attacking wall breakers nowadays such as Valkyrie and even Shachi in some cases. So what role does Soul Birds play in Stratosaur's viability? Well, first off, it is a great offensive cleaner. Stratosaur is just as fast as Zulong and has more damage potential than Zulong, not only because it has great base stats, but it also has a usable defensive typing and, of course, setup. And one more thing, it has wall breaking levels of damage. So, Stratoburst, I don't even know what I just said, but Soulburst Stratosaur is not something to be taken lightly and is definitely a threat on a lot of teams. So, with that out of the way, let's talk about the set that we're going to be using for Soulburst Stratosaur. So, for the Soulburst Stratosaur set, we're going to be running the ability Turbulent. This is your first ability on Soulburst Stratosaurs, so there's not much arguing there. Once it gets Resonate and Raging Howl though, then this is going to be an ability that is probably worth your time expending like hours or minutes of your time team building around. Your personality will be smart, nimble, very frail. Very frail is mainly so you don't really decrease any other stats you might need. And nimble here, this will let you speed tie a nimble Zulong. But if you want to run very nimble, that is fine, I guess. But with smart personality at plus two, you're able to to hit KO most Pyrolin sets that aren't running the heavy shield, Gargolem defense, and some other range tanks that are really good to be able to do it KO after a magnify and very smart only really confirms that even more even on some shield pyrolins they still do to it KO but because pyrolin does have fanning flame this is a scenario that you're only going to be considering once pyrolin is below half HP so smart nimble is what you want to run just for consistency. And the item of choice is the Stratoburst. This is mainly so you can actually use your Soul Burst. And your moveset is Metal Blast, Jetstream, Magnify, and Energy Surge. Energy Surge only really helps you against Zulong, and that's pretty much it. And I guess you can also count Joltooth if you really want to. So um, Perch is always going to be better, 9 times out of 10. But the new Lumians that may be rising, such as the new Ancient Duo Roamers, probably might be common so energy surge does have a use there as well but overall perch is just nine times out of ten better so that's what i would consider running over energy surge and for your tps this is really standard and something that honestly looks very simple or 
but it pretty much is. 20 energy will let you use 4 Metal Blasts, 1 Jet Stream, and 2 Magnifies. And of course, you can run about like 76 energy to be able to get to 275, and that's pretty much self-explanatory right there. And your HP stat of 80 are just the leftovers, while your 200 range attack and speed are mainly just to max out these stats out. There's not much you can say with this set, this is really simple like I just said, but you can run Soul Burst Stratosaur on more defensive sets, but that is something I won't really recommend because your bulk, as you can see on the screen, falls off really far after you Soul Burst. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the offensive counters and checks, as well as your defensive answers, and of course, your teammates. So for offensive counters and checks, there's not a lot that can consistently swap in on Stratosaur. Your two best answers are Holovantic and Metatude, and the next best thing is Samurai. Because of how strong Stratosaur is, there's not a lot of Lumis that would love to swap in consistently. Ikazune and Zulong, for example. Ikazune gets 2 hit KO'd by a Jetstream from Smart or V-Smart Stratosaurs, and for Zulong, they get one, uh, 2 hit KO'd by Energy Surge, and it's a speed tie for Zulong, so it's never always going to be wanting to stay in on a strat. And that's really, really tough for these guys, mainly because Stratosaur is just so fast and strong that it's basically impossible to revenge kill. So once it's on the field, it's going to be doing a lot of damage. And for your defensive counters and checks, you only really have one that's or two that's pretty good against it. You have Eleguana and Elephage. The reason why others such as Garg D and Tyrex are on, aren't on here, and I guess you can count Tao Shinu on there as well. The reason why both of them aren't are because they get taken advantage by Stratosaur, which is not really good. Parlin is still a solid answer. It's not the best answer because it gets two hit KO or it gets one hit KO'd when it's below 50% after a plus two magnify. So it can't be swapping in, but it's still pretty good either way. Just don't use it as your reliable answer against Stratosaur. So Eleguana, it's okay against Stratosaur. You'd much rather have an Elephage on the team, but overall Eleguana is still good. You can also run other Lumens such as Setamars. Setamars is particularly not great in this metagame, but who knows, maybe because of the additions of new Lumens, maybe Setamars might find its way back as a solid niche. And as for Elephage, Elephage is just good overall in any type of metagame you want to use it in. And finally, your offensive and defensive teammates. You have quite a lot of options to choose from. Your standard Earth types such as Gargdi and Borok, they're pretty good. And Tyrex and Samurai, they're two really good metal types to be able to use Stratosaur as teammates. For example, Tyrex helps a lot with what Stratosaur doesn't want to deal with. For example, it can deal with Elephage and Eleguana and Setamars all pretty well. It can also swap in on the two most common electric offensive types in the game. Halvantic and Metatoad pretty easily, so Tyrex has great niches on that department. And as for Samurai, it's not going to be swapping in a lot, but it's a, definitely a pretty good duo threat with Stratosaur because either one can be able to sweep the endgame, and they both help kill each other's answers pretty well, which is always pretty nice. And Garlash, it's a standard water type that is pretty offensive and can help defeat the offensive electric and fire types that can want to swap in on Stratosaur, so boost Garlash seems pretty nice, has a pretty good pair up. And for as for defensive answers or defensive teammates, Garg D and Pyrolin are going to be your best options. While you, they can't certainly wall stuff like Samurai indefinitely, these guys still do somewhat threaten Samurai out, and they do deal with everything else pretty easily as in terms of the offensive counters and checks that I've listed. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the conclusion and my thoughts on Soul Burst Stratosaur. So overall, Soul Burst Stratosaur looks really good on paper. I mean... There's a big problem that I'm already starting to see, and that's what pretty much everyone predicted, but Stratosaur is becoming too powerful to the point where electric types aren't your 
main answer for it anymore. Sure, Halvantic and Metatum. There are two good common electric types that can still take advantage of Stratosaur. However, because those two lack recovery, and Stratosaur does have recovery, and Stratosaur still hits some hard anyway, it's a 4 hit KO or a 3 hit KO depending on your Stratosaur's personality, that is really concerning for Lumion Legacy's future with Stratosaur Soul Burst in the metagame. What's also really tough is that it can't be revenge killed very easily because of the amount of bad Lumions that are not a bad Lumions, but the amount of Lumions that cannot revenge kill this without boots. That is also another big issue. And then when you also compound the fact that you have not a lot of defensive swap-ins and the stuff and the fact that you have to use off-meta stuff such as Setamars and Elephage to deal with Stratosaur, and I guess you can put Aliguana there too. That is very concerning. And what's even better is that Stratosaur has a lot of great common teammates, so Stratosaur is gonna love this metagame and it's gonna be even more better as it was before. So at the end of the day, Stratosaur Soul Burst looks really good in this metagame. If you enjoyed the video and found some useful information about this, then of course, like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing more Soul Burst content, and specifically the, all the Soul Bursts besides like the new Roamer and probably make that last, but yeah, this is Kana Soups signing out to remember or to make you remember that Zulong is still a dumpster fire.